For a select group of senior lawmakers, part of this day was spent meeting with top Justice Department and intelligence officials. The topic was sensitive, the origins of the FBI's Russia investigation, and contacts between the Trump campaign and one of the Bureau's confidential sources. President Trump this week has used this issue to attack the legitimacy of the probe led by special counsel Robert Mueller. Our Lisa Desjardins has been following the story and she joins me now. So Lisa, what a dramatic day. Two separate briefings, top intelligence, Department of Justice officials going to the Hill. Take us through why there were two. Right, they were on the exact same topic. What was known about an informant working with the FBI in the, as they looked into the Trump campaign? The first was at the Department of Justice, Judy, and that was the first one initiated. It was by Republicans, especially in the House. Devin Nunes, House Intelligence Chairman, said he had all these questions and he wanted the FBI to answer them in a classified setting. The White House intervened and helped that meeting come together. Well, then also House Oversight Chairman Trey Gowdy, another Republican, was added to that invitation list. Who wasn't on it? As we reported, Democrats. Nor other Senate intelligence ranking and, and chairman it, were not involved. So that was the second meeting, the Gang of Eight. Usually that is the group of top leaders who are responsible for looking into intelligence matters like this that includes the top Republican and Democrat in each chamber and also the top Republican and Democrat on each intelligence committee. That's why there were two meetings. So this investigation, Lisa, as we know, is about the Russia, is about Russia's, whether there was a connection between the Trump campaign, the Trump White House, and Russia. Why was the White House, how was the White House involved in setting all this up? Well, we have now seen actually the investigation split. The Mueller investigation is looking into any ties between Russia and the Trump campaign. But now there are questions and investigation of that investigation, how the FBI has handled things. And today, one eyebrow raising moment, Judy, I saw as I waited for the meeting at the Senate with the Gang of Eight. Who did I see? Chief of Staff John Kelly. We knew he would be there. But also, if you look at the left of this photo, that man is Emmett Flood. He is the White House attorney handling the Mueller investigation. So when you think about this, Judy, then you have a person representing the president and the White House talking about classified information for an investigation that may include the president as a target. Even some Republicans were concerned, including Lindsey Graham, who told me he found it very odd and he wanted to know why that happened. The White House said, and also Democratic sources say, those White House officials did not get involved in the classified section of these briefings, but instead gave remarks. Still, if they were arguing the president's case here, it's an exceptional circumstance. Democrat Mark Warner, the top Democrat in the Senate Intelligence Committee, sent out a tweet, a very rare, strong statement from him saying that the president's chief of staff and attorney have no business showing up to a classified intelligence briefing. There is real concern about lines being crossed here. So after the briefing, Democrats mm -hmm. made a statement, a short one. Tell us about that. That's right. The Democrats huddled for quite some time after this meeting. They decided to just send out one representative, that was Adam Schiff, the ranking member on the House Intelligence Committee. He read just a 25-second statement saying, basically, we learned nothing new. We still feel there is no evidence saying that the FBI did anything wrong. And then he left it at that. Behind the scenes, Judy, I know Democrats are concerned. They do not want to be look, looked at as undermining any investigation or leaking any classified information. But at the same time, they believe that this whole process is about undermining Mueller. Some Republicans feel differently. And, and it's interesting, Republicans also said nothing. That's today, right. Potentially confronting questions about whether they agreed with the president's charge. We got just a single statement from Speaker Paul Ryan. He was in that first meeting, and he basically said, I was happy that we got this information, and Congress has an oversight role. So in the end, Judy, I don't think we learned anything, and it's not clear that even our lawmakers learned anything. Today. So is this, so there's, that's what I was going to ask you. Is yeah. there any sense that any new information that they picked up any, are they any closer to understanding whether the president is right about whether the FBI was spying on his campaign? If you listen to the statement from Democrats, no. They say there was no new evidence today. But Republicans have not spoken in general about the substance of this meeting. Of course, it was classified. We as reporters, we as a nation, we don't have any more information. And what we do have is a very difficult situation of what is distraction and what is important debate about the actions of our lawmakers. Further sign this investigation is taking over so much of this city. Yeah, we have to pay careful attention. Lisa Desjardins, thank you.